welcome to the league where you can't draw. Yes, good morning everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Sunday the 18th of August 2024 and I know what you're thinking, North Allerton looks a lot more tropical than I first envisaged, but I'm not actually in North Allerton, instead I'm halfway across the world in Orlando, Florida and where I'm currently away on a holiday and uh, you may remember I was out here two years ago and went to that Orlando City against New England Revolution game and once again uh, the trip has come with a perk for the channel only this time unfortunately uh, the Orlando City first team are not in action but the B team are and uh, tonight they are up against New York City FC's second team in, at the Osceola Heritage Park in the MLS Next Pro which uh, for context is the third tier of uh, the US League system uh, now uh, this is actually quite a new, unique league because like in every other league you get three points if you, if you win you get a bugger all if you get beat but if the scores happen to be level after 90 minutes then uh, instead of uh, the game like finishing level and both sides taking a point each they will then contest a penalty shootout for a bonus point so it's a little bit like the uh, premier sports cup group stages in uh, scotland um so i'm really fascinated to find out what this is all about actually but uh you're probably asking uh, how did i get out here well as usual with most videos roll travel montage <laughs> So just currently on the way to the uh, travel lodge at uh, Heathrow, they stopped off at uh, Peterborough Services getting some scrams. So yeah, they'll continue with the journey once I've eaten. <laughs> So just at the uh, travel lodge uh, by Heathrow now, uh, yeah, they've got a really, really early start in the morning. So we're going to get some sleep, then we'll uh, go again and we'll be travelling traveling on to uh, Orlando. So it's just gone five o'clock in the morning. It is the day of the flight, uh, flying to from Heathrow to Orlando via Dublin, where we've got a few hours layover. So uh, yeah, uh, let's just get into this. <laughs> So we're just going for it and uh, gone for the uh, Sky Lounge at Dublin Airport. Uh, as I am in Dublin, uh, of course, uh, got to get, get a Guinness Avenue. So we yeah, are just going to make the most of this. Then uh, we'll continue on to Orlando. Well, I'm full as a gun after that. Uh, two Guinnesses, uh, absolute boatload of food as well. So uh, yeah, they certainly filled up for the long journey ahead. So I've landed in Orlando just waiting at a baggage reclaim now, I'm not going to lie, that flight was bumpy as hell, uh, yeah, uh, not the best flying experience, I'm not going to lie, a little bit shaken by it actually, but uh, nevertheless uh, we're here and uh, hopefully uh, the bags will, have will turn up as well. So, made it into uh, the hotel. This is just, just the hotel for tonight, and we're uh, moving on uh, elsewhere 
tomorrow though so uh, uh, next time I speak to you will be on Sunday which is the day of the game and by which point we'll have caught a future Dan from the intro up so uh, here's uh, a few snippets of uh, what I'm going up to in the meantime So that's uh, kind of all I've been up to over the last few days, really. Um, I've actually been out here uh, quite a few times over the course of my life, like for family hol holidays and what have you, but I can honestly, hand on heart, say I've never, ever known it this hot. Uh, it has just been absolutely sweltering. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, like watching football is going to be interesting in that tonight so god knows what it's gonna be like to play in um but uh anyway a little bit about uh this mls next pro as i mentioned it is the uh third tier of uh, us sport and uh and uh, you've obviously got um like th this league is mostly uh like second teams for the regular mls sides so, like obviously the, the two that are watching tonight obviously do have first teams in yeah, MLS, but there is a couple of exceptions to that, and a couple of uh, independent clubs as well. So it is a fully senior league, and what have you. And uh, New York City FC find themselves in the uh, North East Division, while uh, while uh, Orlando City find themselves in the South East Division. And of course, there is a regular East Conference and West Conference. Uh, in the East Conference at the minute, which is obviously what both of these sides are in, um, New York City are currently in 5th place, while Orlando City are in 10th place. Um, so I've noticed that uh, Orlando City are, like as far as this league goes, draw specialists. Like They've had a lot of games go to uh, penalties, so uh, that obviously, like factor of that, that this being such an interesting league could well come into play tonight. Who knows? Um, I mean, I personally kind of hope it does. I hope it's level after... 90 minutes, a, a, a score draw, obviously, I don't want to come all this way out here to see a nil-nil, but it'll be what it'll be, and uh, I've got to say, I'm really excited for it, I uh, wasn't expecting to be at this game, I didn't even know this ground existed, this league existed, until uh, a quick check of uh, footballogy a few months ago, and uh, here, I, here I am now finding myself going to this game tonight, so uh, come along with us, and uh, let's see what it's all about, let's uh, get an Uber to the Osceola Heritage Park, and find out how it all unfolds. Here we are then, a new one off the list. So, Orlando coming out to warm up, they're uh, going to be in the uh, trademark purple this evening. Uh, the New York City goalkeeper's warming up. I don't know how you can be we like, wearing long sleeve shirts and trousers in this heat, like, honestly. I mean, fair play, like, but still. And now New York City are out to warm up. Uh, traditionally, they would play in uh, sky blue, where, of course, um, their club is very much associated to Manchester City, like same colours, same sponsors, etc. Um, but there might be in a change up, so I'm not entirely sure. But we'll find out when the players are coming back out and ready to start the match. So here come New York out to start the match. And there's Orlando. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the field. Your Orlando City B starting lineup. Look, I'll be that far from the airport here. Yeah. Oh, oh God. No slip. So anyway, I did hit his arm. Oh. 
Chance. Oh. The rain. Oh, that's going to be a penalty, it is. It's going to be what the keep there. Yellow. Well, there's every chance it could, be, could have been seen a penalty or two tonight, so uh, I guess get the trend started. Well, save! But not the rebound. Ladies and gentlemen, NYCFC two goals scored by number 83, Camila Azam Ruiz. Oh, it's just, just can't get it on target, come there. No, that would have been soft. So they've gone off for a drinks break and started playing music. Um, so the announcer's just announcing everything. He's announced that they've gone for a drinks break. Every time a player gets booked, he announces it. Oh. Composure. Oh, no. Might just not be that night. What's in? You know what they deserve that. Some turnaround right in half time. Vamos, OCB goal. The referee has indicated the beginning of halftime with a score: Orlando City B two, New York City FC two one. 
Judge on my watch To God my rights away Telling me how to pray Won't let us demonstrate Half time, Orlando City 2, New York City FC 1, and uh, it is nothing more than what Orlando deserves, to tell you the truth. Uh, throughout the first half, they were uh, well on top, uh, creating more of the chances, and uh, eventually they got the just rewards for that. Um, they'll be a little bit frustrated with the goal that they did concede. It was uh, a little bit slack on their behalf, and the NYC players just gone through where uh, the keepers brought them down penalty. Uh, it was, of course, initially saved, but the rebound was put in and I uh, think Orlando just got to be wary of um, NYC that like they are sort of trying to apply the high press wherever possible and uh, they're hitting them on the counter-attack relatively well so far um, but all in all uh, I think yeah Orlando have had um, a majority foothold of the game and I think now the scoreline does reflect that and if they can get another goal and that might just see them right but uh, yeah, I'm expecting uh, like maybe New York to come on to them a little bit more in the second half, but uh, up, to, up to now they can have no complaints with their performance so far, and, and as I say, they've got the lead that, that they uh, perhaps deserve from that. Okay, how far off the goalkeeper? Oh, it's good tracking back. What's the goal you doing there? Might just be enough for the map. So the player's just been booked. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, a yellow card has been issued to NYC FC2 number 81, Jonathan Lopez, in the 73rd minute. I mean, way to rub it in. Six minutes plus had a time for them to save this. So we never send to the game for the mess. Come to see you Ladies and gentlemen, time. the fourth four official minutes. has indicated there will be a minimum of four minutes of added time.
Probably no one ever for NYC. Well, commit bodies forward. Oh, I think he might be going. Whoa, it's all, it's all kicking off at the end of the game. Oh, send out, sending off. Oh, heads have gone. Surely the last chance for him to force penalties. Ladies and gentlemen, the yellow card has been issued to OCB number 61, Jackson Platts. And a red card has been issued to NYC FC 2, number 57, Nicholas Kapananzi. Both cards occurring and added time. Keepers pretty much having to play as a midfielder now. The final score, Orlando City B3, New York City FC 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> City B returns home to Osceola Heritage Park Sunday, September 1st at 7 p.m. So I just got back to my hotel, uh, almost inexplicably, uh, the Uber driver just gave me a free suite, so uh, top one, what a legend. Full time Orlando City 3, New York City FC 2, uh, we didn't get the penalty shootout that you so often see in this division, but uh, certainly a game that wasn't short of drama, um, I think... All in all, you've got to say Orlando did deserve the uh, three points that they got tonight. I think uh, throughout, for, for the majority of the match anyway, they looked as though they had um, a fair amount of control of it. Uh, when I went 3-1 up, I thought, oh, yeah, that's probably game set and match now because uh, in truth, probably weren't really seeing enough from New York to suggest that they could get back into the game. But they did get a lifeline with about six minutes left. And I think at, at that point, that was probably the first time in the game where... Orlando looked a little bit on the ropes, but they made a couple of changes that looked uh, tactical just to see the game out, uh, whereas uh, it just felt as though the tactics went out the window a little bit with with, with regards to uh, NYCFC, and uh, yeah, Orlando managed to see the game out, but not without a little bit of late controversy, a bit of a scuffle which resulted in the... Uh, the New York City FC play against sent off. Uh, it, it was because they weren't happy with uh, the the force of the challenge that was being made that obviously resulted in all that. But uh, as I said, all in all, on the night, there's no. I don't think anyone can really have a great deal of complaint over the final result. And I've got to say, I did, I did enjoy that. Uh, it was obviously a pretty low turnout, um, but uh, I think everyone that was there en enjoyed it. It was a nice little set up and what have you so uh, yeah i'm glad that i found that and uh, obviously the game itself was 
really entertaining but as far as i go now you know i'm just gonna enjoy the rest of this trip i've probably put a lot on myself over this last year or so so you're running this channel working a full-time job so uh, yeah just maybe just time to uh unwind a little bit you know what i mean just uh take a bit of time for myself uh, just enjoy the rest of what all under was to offer you know disney universal uh discovery cove so uh yeah there's still obviously things for me to enjoy but uh, i'm just gonna leave this video here and uh, on that note i'll be back when i'm back in the uk and that is on saturday the 31st of august with the gateshead versus eastley game now uh, while we're on the subject of gateshead i would just like to, like to give the final word in this video to uh, greg ollie who uh, unfortunately uh, yet in yesterday's game at walking uh, suffered a pretty horrifying leg break um but uh I think yeah, the, the by the sounds of the rest of the sit, the rest of the squad, the management, um, just everyone was a huge credit to the football club, and obviously uh, Greg put out a tweet earlier on today, and uh, he just yeah, I think it just epitomised the man, just like full of class, um, like wasn't trying to sort of pick a fight with the the player responsible or whatever, just um, so yeah, the get well well soon, Greg, we're, we're all thinking of you and uh, we we'll hope to see you back out on a pitch soon but until the 31st of august take care cheers for watching see you later